Hi friends, in this video we will see a simple example that uh, I th uh, how the decorators will be very useful. For example, if you see, you can see that Angular in Angular you will be using the decorators while creating a component. So just we will try to create something like that Angular only, not that much of advance. So just we will create a decorator that takes the template and it will hook into that uh, particular uh, template into that uh, DOM. So we'll see that a simple example how the angler will do. Say in the same scenario, we will create a decorator. Now, if you go here, I will create a div, okay, with ID is equal to app. So here I want to hook the template what I want to use. So if you go here into the main.ts, now I have a class. I now what I will do is I will try to create a function. Uh, I will create a name something like with template so you will be having there at the component right so we I can have with template so something like so it will take uh, what we can say is template of type string and also it will take the hook ID of type string let's say this one is also a string now this one is a function now I want to call this function at the rate with template I will call like this and I will send something like h1 um, hi or something like this I will send and also I will send the id app like this now here I will return I will create a decorator now here return function I will return the function so this one will take constructor as anonymous okay now I can write here like this so if you see these are the things we have already discussed. So at the rate with template, I am calling this function with the decorator. I am sending the parameters. So I am sending the template here and I am sending the ID which it, to which ID into that ID this template has to be hooked. Now in this constructor, what I will try to do is first I will try to get the hook element. Const constant hook element is equal to document dot get element by ID of hook ID. So I can get this. Sorry. I can get this hook ID directly okay now what I will try to do is if this hook element is present that means if the element is present if this element means the div ID div or anything element is present I want to insert that uh, template into the in between that div thing what how can I do hook element dot inner HTML is equal to so into that HTML I am inserting is equal to template I can do directly like this now we have did this one right so now we will try to check the output if I try to check the output here if I refresh this one so what could be the output here I am able to see hi that means if I able to inspect element and if I see here in this divid we have inserted the h1 this one like this so now this is how we can insert the HTML into the element like this uh, we have created a div ID like this and we have created into the insert using the decorators and also and another what we can is we can also use this data also we can also use this data inside the person so we can use this data also how we can use this data is nothing but what we can do is I can create constant data is equal to new uh, constructor I will create the constructor so that one is nothing but a class only right so we are getting an error so why because so here uh, yeah, it's a function right so we will call it like this one okay now what i will try to do constructor is created data is created now i want to hook that one so hook element if that element is present hook element dot text content i will use the text content is equal to data dot name i want to insert the name right i will insert the name so just what i am doing i am i am calling the i am creating a constructor i am, I am calling this function constructor function and I am creating this one now we will try to check the output if I try to check the output we are getting that class constructor person cannot be invoked without new okay fine 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 we are created this function with a class right so we need to call must should with a new parameter so we are getting an error so for the timing we will keep it as any so that we can create using the new constructor like this now we will check the output how it will be the output here now if I do here so now creating object and here lila has been created now we will check this inspect and we will check here in this div id we got lila here so we have replaced this one with lila but the day the combination is not like that inside this h1 hi has to be replaced with lila 
So here we are directly replacing the hook element. Instead of doing that one, we can do query selector of h1. Okay, h1 in that h1 we need to read it. So dot text content is equal to data item. We can write it. And here we can we may find it that it may return null, right? So, so for that reason we will keep exclamatory so that we will be able we are telling to that one it, it will not be written as a null. So now here I what I can do is so now if I check the output if I refresh this this one now if I see in the h1 the high has been replaced with lila. So what are the name it has been created uh, the class is having we have it we have written like this. So in this way we can replace like this. Okay, we can replace the template. Uh, in, uh, we can inject this template into the div id so why i have written this type of code you will be having a doubt why i have written this type of code you will be having it so this uh, code is nothing but what we can say is this is the process what we, the angular will be using so in the coming after this type we will be learning about the angular thing so but i need to you need to know this decorator thing so if you go in angular if anybody knows about we have knowledge in angular if you go in angular and if you check this angular you go here and uh, yeah you can go down so when we are creating a component so yeah here when we are creating a component so here we are here they are creating with the decorator saturate component and the selector template url and the template whatever the template you want so they are taking this one so this one is somewhat way advanced than what we are using right now but the inner core concept is this one only so how they are doing so we can write it as component so whatever you want so i can write like this component i can change this one as a component so not a problem so you'll not a problem so and nothing like that what we have implemented in a primitive way trivial so something a small way we have implemented this one but that one is that angular representation is the more advanced way so but just in order to know the core concept how the decorators will be used so i just showed you a demo so using like this okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comment below to this video and if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.